guys welcome back to my channel today I wanted to bring you guys book shopping with me I've been trying to film a come book shopping with me video for a while but it just hasn't been working out because I live in Texas it is super freaking hot here and literally I keep going I keep like going outside to go out and then immediately turning around and coming right back in because it is like hot as hell out there. So instead of going to a bookstore, I am going to do another come ebook shopping with me. I did one of these videos a couple months ago and it was really fun. And I always kind of keep a running list of some ebooks that I have had my eye on, ones that have been recommended to me or ones that I've seen people reading. And also, Kindle Unlimited recently upped their borrowing limit from 10 books to 20. So you can now check out 20 books at a time. So like, I feel like it's the perfect time to just completely fill my KU library. All right, so let me record my screen. I logged out of my Amazon account because last time that I did this video and I screen recorded, I didn't realize that like on Amazon, it puts your address in like 20 different places. So when I was editing that video, I kept having to strategically like cover certain parts of the screen to hide my address. So I just decided I'm gonna log out. Y'all aren't gonna know my address. The first book that I know that I wanna get, I've been seeing so many people reading this lately called Unhinged. Oh, it came right up. Unhinged by Onley James. I heard about this book from a bookstagrammer that I follow. Her account is Virgo Reader. She was like putting in her stories that she really loved, like is like obsessed with this book. So, it sounds interesting. Basically, from what I know about this, it's about this billionaire who like adopts all of these kids and like raises them to be psychotic killers. So the main character of this book is a killer. He was raised to right the wrongs of a justice system that keeps failing. And then his love interest is the son of one of the guys that he has killed, who was tr who was like wanting to get revenge for his father's death. So I don't know, this sounds really good. I've been hearing good things about it. Also, the second book, which I think just came out is the main reason why I wanted to read this because this is another one of the like psychotic kids. Um, but the love interest is an FBI agent and you guys know that I had just binged the Mindfuck series which is about a serial killer and an FBI agent and I want more romances like that. So the second book in the series is what really sold me on it. So I think I'm gonna get both. I don't know, I'm excited. Virgo Reader is the first person that I saw talking about this. And then since then, I feel like I've been seeing so many other people like Crystal, I think recently read these. Uh, and then Jen from the Book Refuge, I think read these recently also. I could be wrong, um, but I feel like I've been seeing it pop up everywhere. So those are the first two that I'm going to get. The next one is called Her Soul to Take by Harley LaRoe. This was specifically recommended to me from Syl. From the Book Voyagers, she tweeted me and said that she thinks that I would really like this. And I sort of already had it on my radar, but I will literally read anything that Syl recommends. And I believe that this is a demon romance. So the main character is like a supernatural hunter and she summons a demon who is intending to kill her, but he doesn't end up killing her. It says, my one shot at survival is the demon stalking me and he doesn't just want my body, he wants my soul. One click, I'm gonna get that. <laughs> Lacey said, it's a monster horror romance. Hello. Syl said, it's dark, sexy, monstery, demon, score, kink. Okay. Very excited for that one. The next one that I've had my eye on, I've also seen recently on Instagram. It's called Games We Play. I remember the reason why I added this was because somebody that I follow posted like an excerpt. And I was like, what is that? It's really short, it's only 90 pages. It's about a faceless gamer. Kind of gives me like corpse husband vibes. It says he makes a living playing video games by using his gravelly voice to bring people's sexual fantasies to life. The main character is going to interview him and it says when she walks in, they're instantly drawn to each other, but she has no idea of the monster that lurks beneath. And from the quotes that I've seen from this, it looks very hot. So 
that's the next one I'm getting. Okay, so the next one is Not My Type by Evie Mitchell. This one isn't out yet. It comes out on October 4th, but I am going to pre-order this. It's about a woman who is in a wheelchair. She is like the host of a sex podcast. One of her listeners asks for advice about rope play, which isn't something that she has ever dabbled in, and so she enlists the help of this guy to help her like discover rope play so that she can give advice to her listeners. And I'm just so excited for it. Love seeing a heroine um, in a wheelchair in a romance book. So I am going to be pre-ordering this. Okay, the next one is maybe this time, who's the author? Christina C. Jones. I've been wanting to read a Christina C. Jones book for a while. She has so many books. Every time that I like look into them to decide which one I want to read, I get very, very overwhelmed. But this one sounds really good. It's a friends to lovers romance. Hold on. Now I'm forgetting what it's about. Let me go back to Goodreads. It's about best friends who, oops, they get married. Sounds great. I love friends to lovers romances. I'm assuming that they go to Vegas because it's a Vegas series. I feel like this is another one that I saw a quote from that was like really hot. This is like 90% <laughs> of the like romances on my TBR are because somebody posted a quote from it that was like really steamy and I was like I need this and I add it knowing absolutely nothing about the book other than it's hot. <laughs> yeah this is the next one I'm gonna get and I'm super excited to read my first Christina C. Jones. The next one Okay, the next one, <laughs> y'all didn't see that. The next one is called Daddy's Angel by K.A. Knight. This is another ex-boyfriend's dad romance that I haven't read yet. It says, when my boyfriend cheats on me, I decide to get a little revenge by sleeping with his father. There's a quote at the bottom that just says, screw you, Justin, your dad does it better. <laughs> I'm excited for this one. It doesn't have like the best reviews on Goodreads, but like, I'm a hoe for this trope and I will read every single one. The next book is called Vibe. Oh my God, the search results. <laughs> Y'all didn't see that. Vibe by Li Liza James. This is a female, female dark romance that I've been recommended a lot. Some people have told me that it's really good. Some people have told me that it's really bad, <laughs> but I am desperately craving very steamy, female female romances, dark female female romances, just like ones that are different. My dangerous little mistake, my favorite enticing regret, my vibe girl. I don't know how I feel about the phrase my vibe girl. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go for it. I don't like that, but I'm gonna go for it. It is dark, it is hot, and it is your lesbian dream. Okay, we will see about that but I'm here for I'm here for it. The next one is Rilsey Adams new release. I forget what it's called. Here we go. Surrender. I don't know what it's about, but I love Rilsey Adams and I will read everything that she writes. Okay, it says in 12 years unless we're with other people, I'll fly you somewhere and you'll give me two nights. <gasps> oh my god, it's a packed it's a packed romance. I love packed romances. So, okay. Okay, okay. So it's about two, I'm, I'm assuming friends, and they make a pact that if they're single, if they're both single in 12 years, they'll get together, they'll have sex, I don't know. It says, she's tempted to decline when Lennox emails her plane tickets and a reminder she promised him two nights, but curiosity gets the best of her. Oh my god, I'm so excited for this. I love any type of pact, like, we made a pact when we were kids, or we made a pact when we were younger. Next one is... If She Says Yes by Tasha Harrison. This one, from what I remember, is Best Friend's Mom. Yes, okay, so it's an age gap, older woman, younger guy. He has a crush on his best friend's mom. It says, would it be wrong to make those feelings known the weekend of his best friend's wedding? Ever since I read Pool Boy, I've been wanting more younger guy, older woman romances. So we'll see if this is good. I don't remember where I heard of this. The next one is My Dirty Duke by Joanna Shoup. I believe that this was part of an anthology 
However, I don't want to read the anthology. I just want to read this. Um, it looks like it is a smutty, steamy, historical novella. It says, Violet knows that her father's best friend, the Duke of Ravensthorpe, is the most powerful man in all of London with a reputation for sin, but nothing can stop Violet from wanting to shred her wallflower ways and fulfill her darkest, most forbidden desires, even if it means seducing a man twice her age. Yes. <laughs> Also, I love this cover. Okay, the next one is a Jessica Kane book. On my last like Kindle Unlimited reading vlog that I did, I asked you guys to tell me like what Jessica Kane books are good because she has so many and I feel like they're very hit or miss. And a lot of people said King Sized, which is a body, I think it's a bodyguard romance. And the guy, let me see, let me read this. Rex has sworn to guard the young queen at all costs. He has also sworn to love her forever, secretly of course. A relationship between a hulking, lowly palace guard and the queen is impossible. Still, when he hears Britta crying one night, he can't help but offer his king-sized embrace as comfort. Rex is shocked when Britta is not repelled by him at the, in the least. The penalty for putting his filthy hands on the virgin queen is death. But what a way to go. <laughs> I love Jessica and synopsis's, like, they just, they give it to you right away. So yeah, I'm gonna get this one because hello, bodyguard romance? Yes, please. And then there was another one that some people said, here we go, called Husky. Especially on my last, my romance unpopular opinions video where I said I wanted more like body diversity with the male characters. A lot of people said this uh, series, Jessica Kane has like a bunch of like bigger guy novellas and this was one of the ones that a lot of people said so it is about it's fashion week and the designer wants to make clothes for bigger men and she needs a bigger male model to model the clothes so she tries to convince this former bodyguard turned bar owner to wear the clothes here for it love it okay so we're gonna get that one okay and then the last one that i have in my list is called the fate the fate of stars it's a fantasy lesbian romance and i've heard that it's kind of dark that was what the goodreads reviews were saying that it's like a dark captor captive mermaid lesbian romance and i was like y'all are just popping off all of my buzzwords right now so yeah a mermaid and a princess a feud as ancient as the gods Worlds collide when Talora is kidnapped from her ocean home and forced to be a pet to a tyrannical foreign empire. Her only hope to rescue lies with her sworn enemy, Princess Daryl, infamous for her stolen heart and conflicted past. Sold. <laughs> I think that is where I'm going to stop. I love how I do these come book shopping with me ebook editions and I only end up spending like two dollars. Pretty much all of these were on Kindle Unlimited. Let me know out of all these books which ones you're the most interested in and um, I can do a reading vlog reading those soon. Also, if you have any recommendations for me of some uh, Kindle Unlimited or ebooks that you think I would like, let me know. I hope you guys liked this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye! I have a question. Are you guys on Good Soup TikTok or is that just me? Just wondering. Good soup. soup. <laughs>